All right. Tonight is uh, sophomore night for the Bells. Summer Jones, guard out of Edmond, Oklahoma. You can just follow her. Number 10. Victoria Vickers. If you want to go up and down with it, just listen to this. And Number 13, Trey Quarles. Sophomore out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Number 12, Hannah Pittman. Out of Quentin, Oklahoma. Number 15, Pamela Grover. Out of Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. Number 20, Jamie Clark. Out of Washington, Oklahoma. Coach Rita Story Show. And sophomore number 21, Hannah Ash. Dale, Oklahoma. And that's our sophomores. They've done a lot for the for the Bells program. I know Coach Story Show is very proud of them. There in your pictures, our trainer, Tori Gross. Coach, read the story show. And our sophomores. Coach Shell wanted me to, or wanted me to announce that this game is being dedicated. Seminole State College Bills would like to dedicate this game to Janae Woodruff Talaferro. Hope I'm saying that right. Best friend since uh, it should be 1987. Bethel High School. 
battling cancer. This will be the final home contest for the Bells and for the Trojans tonight. Western Oklahoma State College. Starters for the Lady Pioneers, number one, Ramsey Weich. Number 12, Ariel Williams. Number 20, Delicia Brown. And number 22, Marquetta Jackson Rogers. And number 24, Paradise Jackson. Starters for the Seminole State College Bells. Number three, Summer Jones. Number 10, Victoria Vickers. Number 13, Trey Quarles. Number 22, Kaylin Richardson out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And number 32, Jasady Ainsworth, freshman out of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Again, the Lady Bills wanted to dedicate this game to uh, Janae. And your starters for the Bells, Jones, Corals, Richardson, Ainsworth, and Vickers. Richardson controls the tip out to Corals, Ainsworth, Vickers. Vickers making a start tonight. I don't think she's that I've been a part of. 
Summer Jones busts the three right off the bat. Making it three, three zero Bells. Williams with the ball out top. Over to Rogers, down low, back out top. Three seconds in the lane. Gillespie hit that, but three seconds in the lane. Lady Pioneers is going to come out with a full court press right off the bat. Vickers over to Quarles, out to Jones. Bells break that with no problem. Ainsworth. Quarles with the rebound. Out to Jones. Richardson with the rebound. Looks like she carried. Out to Vickers. Richardson turns the ball over. Lady Pioneer is bringing it down. Jackson. And this is the last regular season home game for the Bells. Vickers up top of the ball. Just a little bit short. Ainsworth fouled as she goes up for it. Looks like we got uh, Coach Woodall and Miss Sparks on there watching. You guys might let us know how we sound and look. Ainsworth with the free throw. 4 nothing. Bells on top. That one just a little bit short. Lady Pioneers with the rebound, pushing it up top. Oh, she carried that. Nice play by Ainsworth. Just didn't get everything wanted. Lady Pioneer is going to push for full court press. Turnover by the Bells. Summer Jones with the turnover, push it up court. Out to Richardson, back out to Jones. Boom. She's hit two threes. Looks like the Pioneers are going to try to press and get the Bells out of their game. She's carried that. Vickers with the rebound. 7-2 Bells up on top early here in the first period. Vickers with the shot. In and out. Like a pinball. Jackson with the ball up top for the Lady Pioneers. Oh, yeah, she's clobbered. Rogers will go to the free throw line. Seminole State Trojan Baseball won today. Beat Murray State 10 to 2. On the road. She misses the front end of that. They misses that, but they get the rebound. Can't give up the rebounds on free throws. Quarles out to Vickers. Vickers going to shoot it short. Ainsworth with the rebound. Quarles with the missed shot. It's 
Looks like she threw up a prayer. Johnson threw it up, threw up a prayer. Worked out. Jones is wide open over here. Missed that 7-4. Bell's on top. Long three. Oh, she's on her back. Johnson with the foul. Three on one right here. Bust another three. Oh, she's got her wide open. It's like Western's going to press every time they can. Nine on the shot clock. Vicker is going to get the foul. Looks like Gillespie's going to check in for the Lady Pioneers. And that one rolls in. 7 5. Bell's on top early here in the first. That one bounces in. Johnson hits two free throws. They're able to get the ball to the middle every time. It's something I haven't seen much this year is consistent full court press from the get go from our opponent. Jones with the miss. <clears throat> Long three. Rebound Pioneers. That's well short. Summer Jones going to take another shot. She missed that. Crowles with the rebound. She's fouled. By Gillespie. That's Lady Pioneer's fourth team foul. Johnson's going to check out. That's going to be another foul on Gillespie. That's going to be her second at least. That's her third. She won't be playing long. Ainsworth with the miss. Miss Reynolds, welcome to the live stream. Bell's on top, 7-6. to six. 421 left here in the first period. Ainsworth hits that, 8-6. to six. On the court for the Bells, Quarles, Ainsworth, Vickers, Richardson, and Jones. Pick and roll. They've done pretty good on the pick and roll. Rodgers. With the layup. Oh, that's a foul. Rogers with the foul. That's her first, fifth team foul. 3.52 left here in the first quarter. The 
again tonight was is sophomore night. Our bell sophomore bell is recognized before the game. Ten to eight, Seminole on top. Good defense by Quarles. In and out, jump ball. Kelani Richardson being aggressive on getting that ball. And too aggressive on that one. Looks like Armstrong, Tabitha Armstrong is going to check in for the Lady Pioneers. Rogers rattles that one in. Hannah Ash checking in for Richardson. Knotted up, 10 apiece. More full court press. Hannah Ash with a shot. A little bit long. Uh, Hannah should have stayed there. That or triple team. Lady Pioneers take the lead, 12 10. Oh, she had Hannah Ash wide open. Quarles out to Vickers. Over to Ainsworth. Back out to Summer Jones. Victor's cutting to the basket. Back out to Quarles. Two on the shot clock. And Rogers with the foul. One second on the shot clock, and she bailed out the Bills. Quarles sinks that one. Lavelle checking in. For the Lady Pioneers, Williams going to have a seat. Good hustle. Good hustle by Jasady Ainsworth. Summer Jones with the shot. We're just not getting. Oh, that should be charged. Oh, you call the block from Victoria Vickers. Looks like Jimmy Clark's going to check in. Brown's going to shoot a free throw. She hits that. 15-11. Lady Pioneers on top. More full court press. And Ash. Fouled. I thought she was fouled. Bank shot in. Fifteen thirteen. Bills trail by two. Turnover by the Bills. She blew that one. Ball's going to stay with Lady Pioneers.
Turnover by the Lady Pioneers. Hannah Ash taking it down the court. Out to Vickers. Out to Clark. Missed on the long three. She traveled. Shot clock problem. Picked up her dribble too soon. Out to Jones. Clark. Back out to Quarles. Quarles drives the hoop. She's fouled by Rogers. That's her second, fifth team foul. Coral's going to go to the line. Young is going to check in for the Pioneers. Coral's hits that, 15-14, Bell's trail by one. Got to get that rebound. Nice defense by Hannah Ash. Oh, that's weak. It's Hannah Ash's first foul. Can't see her number. She's got too long hair. Don't pick up your dribble. That's a reach in. Weiss with her second team foul, or second personal foul. Clark's going to shoot two. Sinks that one. Bills trail by one, 22 seconds left here in first period. That's a turnover. So Seminole with a chance to take the lead here in the first with 15.5 seconds left. She had more time than One second. The horn didn't go off. So after the first period, lay Pioneers on top. 17-16. We'll be back here in just a second. Today is the day. The day I focus on my goals and continue my education. Today, my future starts at Seminole State College. At SSC, I can choose from one of 22 degree programs. And with flexible course schedules, small class sizes, and affordable tuition, SSC can help turn my dream of earning a degree into a reality. Seminole State College, my future starts here.
All right, we'll start the second quarter, second period. Western on top, 17-16. Summer Jones with the steal. On the court for the Bells, you got Jones, Clark, Ash, Ainsworth, and Quarles. Ainsworth. Victoria Vickers out to Hannah Ash for the shot. Bells take the lead, 18-17. Out of control. Ainsworth taking it all the way down. Back out to Quarles. On the miss. Easy transition bucket for the Lady Pioneers. Bell's trail by one. She traveled. Eight thirty six in the second period. Bills trail by one. And Ash with the foul, reach in. Grover's going to check in for Summer Jones. <laughs> Kenzie Kalen's going to check in for Hannah Ash. So you got Kalen, Grover, Quarles, Ainsworth, and Clark on the floor for the Bells. Clark with the steal. Didn't he know the ball was coming? Right place at the right time. Double dribble. Clark with the steal. Grover with the foul. Grover's going to pick up her second foul. Long three, no good. Turnover by the Pioneers. Michaela Chambers is going to check in. Grover's going to have a seat. She just got on the floor. Chambers with the foul. Offense. Yeah, I agree with her. Pioneers draped all over her arms. She's just trying to get away. Long three. Chambers with the rebound. 
Chambers can dominate down low. Kenzie Kalen over to Clark. Back out to Kenzie Kalen. Quarles, Clark, Kalen. Chambers is working hard for it. Ainsworth with the two pointer. Bells take the lead by one, 2019, 627 left here in the second period. Tough shot. Chambers with the rebound. Chambers just a freshman. Out of Edmond, Oklahoma. Ainsworth with the shot. Off the backboard. That's what the Pioneers are doing. As soon as the shot goes up, they're, they got one blazing down the court. Getting the easy transition. Nice play. Nice. Oh. Uh. Ball's going to stay with the Bells. Getting with pretty pass just a little bit, a little bit long, but it was a good play. Ainsworth with the ball in the middle. Kenzie Cowan, long three, short. Was it blocked? She said it was blocked. Summer Jones is going to come in for Ainsworth. Bells trail by one, 21-20. 5-20 left here in the second period. Williams with the layup. Oh, yeah, give it to her. They can't stop her down low. Chambers going to the free throw line for two. They can't stop her. Rattles that one in. 23-21. Bells trail by two. That one's short. Long three. It's in there. Armstrong with the three. 26-21. Shoot that. Can't just shoot that. Short. Summer Jones with the rebound. Clark out. She hits that. That's one thing about the Bells. They they have three or four players that are pretty efficient on three-pointers. Another long three. In and out. Chambers with the rebound. Quarles going to bring it up for the Bells. Give it to her. Oh, she's working hard for it. Kenzie Kalen on the miss. Armstrong with the rebound for the Lady Pioneers. Looks like Sadie Ainsworth is going to check in for the Bells. Next whistle. Long three, shot clock violation. Kenzie Kalen going to check out. Sadie Ainsworth's going to check in. Ainsworth, Chambers, Jones, Quarles, and Clark. In on the, on the floor for the Bells. Out to Jones. She's working hard for it. Nice play. Lady Pioneer doing a little act, acting there. Yeah. 
Pioneers getting away from that pick and roll. They had some success on that pick and roll earlier. Kind of went away from it. She traveled. Good defense. Two fifty left here in the second period. We're tied up, twenty-six piece. Summer Jones with the three short. Corals with the rebound. She should have just shot that. Unselfishly passed it. Chambers wasn't ready. She thought she was going to shoot it too. Unselfish play results in a turnover. Knotted up, 26 apiece. Ainsworth with the rebound. Give it to a guard. Armstrong with the foul. Brown's going to check out. And Johnson's going to check in for the Lady Pioneers. Williams going to pick up a foul. That's her first. That's just the third team foul this period. Ainsworth with the ball down. Oh, yeah, she's fouled. They don't have an answer for her. Chambers just too big and physical down there. It's going to be Young's second foul for the Pioneers. Chambers going to take a shot. Get in there. Bells take the lead, 27-26. 2.07 left here in the second period. Bell's going to play a little zone. Oh, she had the back door. Travel, three seconds. Pioneers back to a full court press. Quarles breaks the press. Get back down to Chambers down low. Clark with the drive turnover. Looks like they're going to get Jackson with the reach in. That's the fifth team foul. Going to shoot two free throws. If you'd like to be a Seminole State College athletic booster, Go to our website, sscathletics.com. Sign up. Our pamphlet's on there. We could use your support. You can choose which which sport you want to sponsor, or you can sponsor the athletic department in a whole as whole. 28-28, Summer Jones with the rebound. Over to Clark. Chambers is in, Ainsworth is in. Yes, 
Just said Yainsworth with the bucket. Bell's up by two. Nice defense. Chambers with the rebound. She got Jones out here. Oh, it almost went, almost went in. That's going to be Jackson's second foul. Quarles with the free throw. 31-28. 16.8 seconds left here in the first half. She makes that one. Got to have them free throws. 32-28. Bell's up by four. Fifteen seconds left here in the first half. Armstrong with the ball. Out to Young. Back to Armstrong for the three. Way off. And that's going to do it for the first half. Bell's on top by four, 32-28. We'll be back here in just a moment. We'll be back.
Vickers with a three. It stopped. We had some internet problems. All right, here we go. Thirty-two, thirty-five. Bells up by three. On the court for the bells. Quarles, Richardson, Jones, Ainsworth, and Vickers. Bells up by three. Summer Jones, the ball up top. Nice pass to Ainsworth. She's fouled, gets the bucket. For those that did have not heard, uh, our assistant base baseball coach, Coach James Martin, his wife passed away a few days ago. We have a PayPal donate on our athletic website. If you'd like to make a donation to the Martin family, it would be greatly appreciated. Long three by Jackson, 38-35. Lady Pioneers back to full court press. Turnover. Ah. It's the first turnover on the press, really. And Ash with the good play. Quarles with the steal. I'm out of breath. Summer Jones over to Quarles. Back out to Hannah Ash. Back out to Jones. She's going to shoot that. Short. Rebound by Ainsworth. She's fouled. You say Ainsworth's going to shoot two. And make two. There's the first one. Johnson's going to come in. Roger Jackson Rogers going to set for the Lady Pioneers. And Ainsworth hits two, as predicted. Bell's up by five. I think this is the largest lead of the game. Turnover, unforced turnover. Summer Jones going to take it in. And she turns it over. Another transition layup missed. Ball's going to stay with the Lady Pioneers. You got to secure the ball. Hannah Ash. The left hand blocked it. The right hand was on her. The roster for the Bells, Jones, Vickers. Hannah Pittman, number 12. Quarles, number 13. Grover, number 15. Clark, number 20. Hannah Ash, number 21. Richardson, 22. Jaden Smith, 23. Kenzie Kalen, 30. Sadie Ainsworth, 32. And Michaela Chambers, number 40. Oh, she's pushed. Nice floater by Victoria Vickers on sophomore night. Head coach, Rita Story Shell. Assistant coach, Jordan Williams. 
And mana, uh, mana, manager, Hannah Anderson. S Jones with the foul. I didn't think it was much of a foul. Six forty-four left here in the third period. We'll have the men's basketball game shortly at the conclusion of the bells. Johnson hits that. 36-42. Grover's going to check in. She got two quick fouls in the first. Hannah Ash is going to have a seat. That ball's short. Where's the rebounding? Full court press. Grover with the ball, back out to Jones. Nice play on the floor though. That was a Houdini play. Grover with the basket, doesn't count, but it'd make a highlight reel. Victoria Vickers, short on the three. Forty-two, forty. Bell's up by two. Oh, it was a foul. Go over with the turnover, and the Bell's going to call timeout. Forty-two, forty. Five fifty-nine in the third. We'll be back here in just a second. You're watching Bell's basketball. All right, we're back. 5.59 in the third, 42-40. Bells on top. On the floor for the Bells, Summer Jones, Ainsworth, Vickers, Quarles, Grover. Long rebound. Short on the three. Ball's going to go out on the Lady Pioneers. Victoria Vickers with a wide open shot. A little bit long. Three seconds. That's foul. Block. 
Yeah, she blocked her big time. Four fifty six in the third. Third dragon. Quarles with the ball up top over to Summer Jones. She'll shoot that. Rebound by the Pioneers. Tied up. Took a little work to get on that press. Oh, she had her go. A wide open, nice pass. Nice play, Summer Jones to Quarles. Quarles is wide open. Great vision. Armstrong with the three, short. Ariel Williams with the foul. That's the fifth team foul. We're shooting free throws. Bell's up by two. She hits that. Needing any of our sporting activity information, go to our website, sscathletics.com. It's got the complete schedule for the softball, baseball, basketball, soccer. Georgian baseball wins win today, beat Murray 10-2. Georgian softball is in action. I believe it's at UCO versus Cali, I believe, right now. Chambers in the in the game for the Bells. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Lot ball never lies. I think we had him last game. Should be a lane violation. You can order Trojan and Bell's apparel from the website. See all of our schedule. Like our Facebook page, Twitter feed. Get stay connected. Chambers. Oh, she's fouled by Armstrong. That's going to be at least her third. Chambers going to go shoot two. That's Chambers second. I know Chambers. Armstrong second. She hits that one. Got her knee wrapped up. Hits that one. 48 42. Six point lead. That may be the biggest lead of the night. For the Bells. Oh, that should have been a moving screen. Chambers with the rebound. Chambers down low. Oh, give it to her. Ainsworth up top. She hits that. Eight point lead. 235 left here in the third period. Chambers with the defense. 
Jones with the two. Boom. Oh, I thought that was going in. Armstrong with the rebound, one on one. Lavelle with the foul. That's just her first. Freshman out of Killeen, Texas. Get in there. You say to Ainsworth. With the miss on the free throw. It's the second. 51-42. Nine-point lead. Foul on Ainsworth. It's just her first. Ramsey Weish, I believe. With the free throw out of Okinawa, Japan. The press is on. Vickers brings it across the court, over to Quarles. Vickers, Ainsworth. Oh, yeah, she had her. Chambers working hard down low. Seven on the shot. Summer Jones with a three. She missed that. Weish with the foul. That's her third. Richardson and Grover are going to check in for the Bells. Quarles with the make. 52-46. Chambers going to have a seat. Ainsworth is going to have a seat. On the floor for the Bells, Grover, Quarles, Richardson, Vickers, Jones. Makes that one. 53-46. One twelve left here in the third period. That ball's short. Vickers with with still Jones with the miss. Looks like we're gonna get uh, Richardson with the foul. It's our fourth. And Ash gonna check in for Richardson. Armstrong makes that. Hits the second. 53-48. More full court press. Don't get trapped. Oh, she had a wide open underneath. Turnover by the Bells. Take a charge. It 
Titans good defense. Good defense. Western would disagree. Jones in the middle, over to Grover. Oh, I thought she was going to hit Grover. And Ash misses that. Grover gets hammered from behind by number 11 or 10. Lavelle with the foul. It's her second. Grover going to go to the free throw line. And she hits that one. Hits the second. 55-48. Ten on the on the clock. Six. Three. I'm not gonna get a shot off. Got to be clock aware. That's it for the third. 55-48. Bell's on top. We'll go to the fourth here in a minute. We'll be back here in just a second. Here we go. Started the fourth period on the court for the Bells. Ash, Vickers, Jones, Quarles, and Grover. Jackson with the shot and miss. Broke that press pretty easy. Jones up top. With the miss. Pioneers got away, way away with the Anyway, the Pioneers getting away from that pick and roll. They were pretty successful at that. That's a nice play. But the like I said, the Pioneers, they did a lot of pick and roll, and they were pretty successful with that. Double foul. I didn't see it. Let's watch the replay right there. That's Grover's third foul. I think that it Brown and Grover offsetting fouls, I guess you'd call it. Well, 
Oh, shoot. The, oh, too late. Good look, just a little bit late. Defender was recognizing that first. Vickers shot and make 57-50. Bells up by seven. Jump ball. Ball's going to go to the Bells. More full court press. Rogers with the foul. Ash over to Jones. Turnover, Jones. Seven thirty seven left here in the fourth period. Bells up by seven. And Ash is fourth. Jimmy Clark's gonna check in. Or Hannah Ash. Jump ball. Trying to do too much. Armstrong with the drive. Vickers with the foul. That's her third. Armstrong to the free throw line. She hits that one. Quarles with the rebound out to Summer Jones. 57-51, Bell's on top, Clark with the ball. Vickers, Quarles, Ainsworth's being pushed all over the place. Clark with the shot. She hits the two. Armstrong with the three. Pioneers with the rebound and put back. Clark with the ball up top. Out to Summer Jones. Vickers, short.
You've got to value the ball. Jackson with the layup. Four point lead was nine. Give it across the time zone. Jones with the turnover. Don't foul. 59 57. Bell's going to call timeout. 5.05 left here in the fourth. Bell's up by two. We'll be back here in just a second. Welcome back. Bell's up by two. On the floor for the Bells, Jones, Richardson, Quarles, Ainsworth, and Clark. 14 on the shot clock. Seven on the shot. Lady Pioneers with a chance to tie it up. Ainsworth with the rebound, up to Jones with the layup, 61-57. Three fifty left here in the fourth period. Bell's up by four. Turnover Pioneers. I just don't know why they got away from the pick and roll. Ainsworth, she had her wide open underneath. Cutting to the basket. Jones with the ball up top. Ainsworth up across the middle. Out to Quarles. Seven on the shot clock. How's that? Quarles called with the foul. That's her second. Third team foul. Or fourth team foul. Unforced turnover. Uh, 
They've been doing that all night. Just now calling it. Two fifty-eight left here in the fourth period. Bell's up by four. Clark, Jones, Ainsworth, Richardson, and Quarles on the floor. Summer Jones with the rebound. She hands it off to Quarles. Over to Clark. Twelve on the shot clock. Clark with the long three. She hits it. 64-57. Two minutes left here in the fourth period. Bell's up by seven. Offensive foul. Charge on Ariel Williams. <laughs> Bells with the turnover. Pioneer's going to get a timeout. Armstrong was wide open for the three. She should have shot it. Instead, she drove to the hoop and turned it over. One eighteen left here in the fourth. Bell's up by seven. We'll be back here in just a second. It's been a good game. Like I said before, I don't understand why the Pioneers got away from that pick and roll. They were pretty successful with it, and it's just they haven't done it after the first period, really. Turnover by the Bells. Bad shot, bad positioning. Quarles gets it across. She needs to run some clock. She's going to get fouled. Where's the foul? Richardson misses a layup. They call a travel. She stepped out. Ainsworth's going to go to the free throw line. 35.7 35.7 seconds left here in the court, fourth. Bell's up by seven. Nope, that's just the fourth team foul.
Armstrong with the foul on Summer Jones. I think that's her fourth. It's her third. Summer Jones is going to go to the free throw line. She's probably the one, the one you don't want to foul. She hits that one, 65-57. And we'll have the men's game here shortly. It's supposed to start at 7.30, but they'll probably start earlier. Jones hits that. Bell's going to call timeout. Up by nine, 26.8 seconds left. Again, you can go to our athletic site, sscathletics.com, order your Bell's apparel, hat, shirts, pins. Order it online, they'll ship it to you. Charging baseball wins today against Murray down in Tishomingo, 10 to two. Joseph Craig with five hits today. And the Trojan softball girl, the Trojan softball team is haven't got an update on their score. Twenty six twenty six point eight seconds left here in the contest. Don't foul. Armstrong with a long three. Looks like it was blocked by Jones. Oh, she's got her wide open with the layup. 68-57. Another turnover. And the Pioneers just going to let them dribble it out. Nine point eight left here in the game. Hannah Pittman in the game. Come on, Hannah, shoot that. And that's going to do it. Bells win, 68-57. We'll be back here shortly with the men's game. 